For those of you, okay, well, for those of us who like to collect memorabilia, you may wonder what to do with all of the artifacts that you gather. Some people attend swap meets, sell their objects at conventions, or you can open a museum. I'm the NYC Traveler, and we're in Denver, Colorado. Welcome to Denver, Colorado, a city known for many things, including the National Ballpark Museum. Located barely a block from where the Colorado Rockies play, you would think that it's a collection for sports fans only. And yes, baseball fans will thoroughly enjoy this museum, no matter which team you root for. But from a sightseeing perspective, anyone can enjoy this historic point of view and get great insight into American culture. The small museum is so crammed with items and information that you won't know where to look first. There is some emphasis on what they call the 14 classic parks, most of which are either no longer standing or have been rebuilt. Many artifacts are accompanied with information such as dates, times, and factual information. There are news facts and news articles, and by looking at the date lines, history buffs will be able to place the items into errors and correlate them what was going on in the world when an event happened or when the item was in use. For some visitors, they can relate with either their personal experience and memories or nostalgia that was told to them in stories by loved ones. The museum was started by Bruce Hellerstein. As a baseball player and lifelong fan, he began this museum to create a legacy for his family. There are plenty of exhibits and museums dedicated to baseball, the game, the sport, and the players, but this is the only one so far honoring the ballparks outside of specific areas within the stadiums themselves. This is great for fans who travel to stadiums across the country. A lot of information and a lot of paraphernalia in one location. Since the museum focuses on the stadiums themselves, there are a lot of seats, programs, ticket stubs, vendor paraphernalia, pennants, and souvenirs that were sold from various parks. Rounding out the collection are authentic uniforms, autographed items, and newspaper and magazine covers and articles. Some of the newspapers and magazines are especially interesting because some of those are no longer published. Or Ebbets Field, home of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Other parks are standing in name only, have it been rebuilt such as Yankee Stadium in New York. Fenway Park is highlighted, of course, as it is currently the oldest active ballpark, although it has had extensive renovations. One of the highlights is the Ballpark Wall of Fame, featuring bricks from the 14 classic parks. Since the time we have visited, there is probably much more to see, so when we are back in Denver, we will be back at that museum. So take yourself out to the ball game at the National Ballpark Museum in Denver, Colorado. I'm the NYC Traveler.